everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and we're going to continue our tutorial on JavaScripting. This is going to be a JavaScript tutorial, but not in general, like how to do if statements, how to do loops. It, it's basically going to take uh, little pieces of JavaScript and show you how the MV engine uses those pieces of JavaScript. So this isn't your typical JavaScript tutorial. This is going to be how the game engine uses JavaScript. In today's episode, what we're going to be doing is talking about input number. And one reason, uh, let's just take a look. If we try to change the digits past 8, uh, when we do an input number, it doesn't let us. So we're limited. The engine is, I don't know why, but it's just limiti limiting us to eight digits. Well, what if we wanted to do nine digits or 10 or 16 digits? Well, here's how you would do it. You would open up a, um, a new event, right click, edit, uh, insert a new thing, go to advance in the script. We're gonna do a script call right here. Inside this box, we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna type dollar sign game, capital M on message, dot set capital N on number capital I on input and that's going to be the, c the function command for the same thing that the editor uh, shows us okay so we have two arguments uh, two parameters in this function the first one is going to select the variable we want to store the number that we're putting in uh, the, this will be we could make this a local variable but it'd be better to use a game variable that way we can reference it outside of this uh, script so we're going to just say one for simplicity so whatever number we put in uh, will be stored into the games variable we're going to check this with the debug uh, function that's built into uh, the MV engine the second parameter is the breaking the eight character limit so the second uh, argument is uh, selecting how many different uh, uh, how many different digits you want to be able to input. So with this setting uh, variable one and 16 right here, we'll do make sure we use the parentheses to show that we're calling this function and the end line so it doesn't crash. What's gonna happen is the same thing as if we use the editor, except now we're not limited to eight digits. We can have as many digits as we want. In this case, we have 16. So if we input a number now, we have a larger, larger, much larger, uh, variable that we input. So we put in uh, a very, very large 16 digit number, and if we go to our variable number one, which we selected, we can see that our variable we put in, which is a very, very large number, is stored inside that uh, game variable. So that's it. Very, very simple tutorial. I'll go over it one more time. Dollar sign game, capital M on message, dot set, capital N on number, capital I on input, and two arguments. Make sure you capitalize. Uh, using camel case so the first word will always be lowercase so if you do like that it's gonna crash it's gonna say undefined so make sure that you lowercase the first one and then if you have multiple words in one line you're gonna capitalize the second word and you'll notice that in JavaScript it's like this it's called camel case so lowercase set capital N on number capital I on input the first digit is the variable you want second digit is the number of digits or the second uh, argument is the number of digits you want very simple very easy hopefully you guys like this tutorial if you did give it a thumbs up like favorite share subscribe all that good stuff if you have a specific thing you would like to see done in JavaScript remember we're gonna take it very very easy so don't ask me how to design a 3d image and put it in JavaScript it's not gonna happen <laughs> uh, anytime soon anyway um, so if you, there's something very simple you'd like to see done in JavaScript, let me know in the, in the comments below. Or if you have a special request for anything else, put it in the comments below. But we will see you guys in the next tutorial.